Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Getting Snacky with Daryl. I am at my local Culver's because if you didn't know already, the pretzel bites are back. That is correct. Little pretzel balls that they have uh, is back. Uh, basically a yearly thing. I think it's been about a year, uh, maybe a little bit sooner uh, than a year or less than a year than they had them back. But I know that a lot of people been asking for it and so they have brought it back and I am so happy that they did. So there we go, just for me, they made this. All right, here we go. Ooh, let me pull back the flap, adapt. Look at that, we meet again is right. I did do a little prep. I did take off the lid off the cheese uh, just so I could get a good, uh, good uh, picture view for you guys. I have not tried the pretzel bites this year. I have had them before, loved them. Let's see if the quality is still there it is culver's they know cheese and pretzels essentially with that wisconsin base so let's see if it still delivers and i am so excited for this the smell of the dough is amazing you can see the. let me get you a close-up view my brown and also you can see the texture of that uh probably a little bit of the the bubbling and the salt so there's a little bit of texture so it's not super smooth this is the perfect color for this probably the perfect size for pretzel bites too as well and so we got some warm che cheddar cheese let's go in for a dip oh man let's see try to get this as uh, there you go there you go look at that look at that beauty you can't even see through it that's a good amount of cheese let's go in for a bite come on Come on. If you go to any other like restaurants, like when you dine in and they have pretzel uh, sticks or pretzel bites on the menu, I definitely go look at that. That's definitely always something I consider. I love the taste of the pretzel, especially the soft pretzel. So that's why I think these are perfect, uh, perfect size for this. Uh, these, these, let's see, three, six, well, shoot, three, six. There's like 10 of these, 10 of these, uh, Per order, that was a little over four dollars. Uh, where is it now? Four twenty-five was my total, so probably like three ninety-nine or something like that. Once you have the tax, it's four twenty-five uh, for the cheese and the pretzel. This is a perfect appetizer. I love the taste; it's good. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, honestly, I could probably just chug this cheese right here. Uh, and for those who know me, you know I'm, I would chug this cheese, but I do want to save the cheese for the pretzel bites. These also taste, uh, these would taste really good on its own, but if you have the cheese here, you might as well dip it in and go in for it. Actually, and then my pro tip, honestly, is to let the cheese sit for them, if you can, let the cheese sit from it so it, it uh, gets thicker again, because when it's fresh, the cheese is good, but it's like runs off. You don't get this good coating. Uh, like when they talk about cooking, when they says the back of coated, coating the back of a spoon. This is pretty much what they're talking about. This is the look that they're going for, the consistency they're going for. All right, it's about to drip out, so you know it's still pretty warm. Um, but these, this is really good cheese. So Culver's, I think you did it again. Another big, huge thumb, thumbs up. So if you haven't gotten the pretzel bites before or you're, you're thinking about getting them, definitely go get them. This is a, a must have. This will definitely get a air horn taste of approval culver's pretzel bites go get them enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next episode of getting snacky with daryl have a great one and have a snack-tastic day later